Hey everybody, it's Shellabelle. Sorry that this video is late. We've had no internet for the last few days, so I've had trouble with uploading. So, this video is of the ScreenCon that we went to, um, called ScreenCon in North Shields. We all had an amazing day. Uh, a group of us went, um, me, me, my husband, and some of our friends as well. Uh, I dressed as Harley Quinn. My friend Kim was dressed as Batwoman. So you'll actually see both of us in the costume contest later on. Um, we all had brilliant, brilliant time. Uh, there was so many funky things there. We had Norman Lovett there who was signing autographs and he did a little talk and played a game show. We had Caroline Munro who is uh, a Bond girl. She was there talking. We had Ian White, who, amongst other things, he's the at least one of the giants. I think uh, one one, maybe I want to say one one, but I could just be thinking of Harry Potter there and Lavender Brown going one one. Um, so I think he was actually my favourite person there. He really, really seems to care about it, whereas Norman Lovett. He just seems to be there for the money, which is sad. Um, he doesn't seem to enjoy himself very much. But other than that, there was loads of stuff there. You had loads of stalls. Um, we all got a goodie bag when we came in, which I got a poster of Eminem, uh, which I casually left somewhere. And then later on, I got another one. Uh, I managed to get into Stella that time, which at least it's a movie. Um, Bought loads of new stuff. Um, my husband got a load of comics. I got um, a little necklace, which is a little dancing Groot. Uh, and also a new pop. I got Diva from Fifth Element. My husband got BB-8. So all in all, had a fantastic day. And you'll see what I managed to record in the videos. Some of them could seem a little random coming in halfway through, but we were that busy through the day. We didn't get to see everything all the time. Uh, they had a quiz. We entered as Harley's Angels because, as I said, I was Harley from Suicide Squad. Um, our team won! Yay! The prizes are actually pretty funky. Uh, I haven't got them with me here. They're all downstairs at the minute. Uh, but we got a scene-by-scene -scene, a Star Wars book, which is my husband's because He's far more into it than me. Uh, we got a Sherlock book, which I'll probably read. We got a skull. That's probably the most random and the most argued about thing. Everybody wanted the skull. As it turns out, our friends gave us the prizes because we hosted them all for the weekend. So they said that was their way of paying us back, which was actually really, really nice. And we're really, really grateful to them. Um, there was some sweets and there was a bunch of signed stuff. So there was two from Guardians of the Galaxy for Spencer Wilding or Wildling, Wilding. Yeah, I think it's Wilding. Uh, there was one for the Wolfman from him and Doctor Who as well. And then you had uh, another one which is from last year and it had Hattie Hayridge uh, Spencer Wallen and a couple of other people's autographs on it uh, but overall we were absolutely made up with this thing it came in a funky Avengers bag as well it, it's always nice because like the first year when they did the prizes they came in bin bags so having them in nice little fancy bags now is lovely but yeah just sit back enjoy the video and don't forget if you enjoy it don't forget to like and subscribe down below you'll see the little red box there and I will see you all with my next video, which will be a Loot Crate unboxing. Enjoy! Busters Academy, if you are interested in being part of that, we have the sign-up sheets at the front there.
So if you want to learn how to be a Ghostbuster, this is your opportunity. This is for the kids. Yeah, yeah it's for kids. kids, not big kids, oh, little so kids. There is a sheet there, make sure you start on the right one. Yeah. Just on the far side, see, it's Ghostbusters Academy. That's it. Then after that, we will hopefully have yeah. standard entry coming in, and then we have a rather good looking guest coming on stage. Oh, yes, we do, yeah. Shall I tell them who? You can tell, tell them. Just tell them up there if they're reading. Al Elliott. The man behind screen con is coming up to talk about Hello Screen Con. Thank you for the warm welcome. I will see everybody having fun? I'm sorry. I, 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 I know you're there. Fun. Yeah. I know you're there, I can hear you breathing. You can have that on the pump count. Yeah, you know what, yeah, that, that, that counts, you know what, and even better, Carolina like this one, 007! <laughs> Which is a pun in itself, so now it's double away. Uh, shush, it's a pun. Right, so, we'll have to talk about a certain show that everybody is talking about at the minute. EastEnders. EastEnders, I was about to say EastEnders as well, yeah. Does anyone want to guess what show I'm going to mention? Yeah. Why do we get this audience every year? Every year it's this audience. Game of Thrones. So, the characters, you've played a very, well, one of my favourite scenes with the giants. When you see him smash the, we've got to keep this kid friendly. When he throws a man against the wall very gently and he falls to the floor. Yeah. Um, what's it been like being part of Game of Thrones? It's exceptional. I mean, it's the most popular TV show in the world. It's the most popular TV show in the world. I'm all to wait, so I can talk about What is it? Some kind of joke? So this is currently Caroline Munro, who's like a Bond girl. Hi guys. We're going to take this CJ's pun count every time he does a pun today. Oh. He gets one, but every time somebody else gets one, he gets one taken off. So thank you for that. Did no I get one? Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. No, that it, was a, it was an amazing experience. It really was. Um, I was lucky to, to to be chosen for the. It was a little role, Naomi, but but it was a really interesting little role because I could kind of get my, get my teeth into it and have fun. Because Roger was so. Um, ooh, where are you going? Can you, I'm sure you can hear me outside right through to Newcastle <laughs> Central now. I sound like a station, don't I? Ow, that hurt. Ouch. We're the corner. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to Caroline. Are you going to do the pose? Do the pose. Yeah, oh yes, yeah, sorry, I'm encouraging him. <laughs> Here he is. No, no, don't fire it, don't fire it. Don't fire it. No, please. Um, Fantastic. I've got one more question oh, for you. No, that, that's fine. Um, and then I'm going to oh. open, if anybody has any questions from the floor, do get your hand in the air ready so we know that you want to ask a question. Um, but there's been a lot of talk about who's going to play the new Bond. Have you had any thoughts of who you would love to see play? I've Bond? had a lot of thoughts on it, but I still think it should be Daniel Craig for one more. He's just so good as Bond. And he's really, in all and talks he's really made the character his own. I know, I know each of the actors interprets Bond as their own, as Roger did. It took Roger, as he always says, it took him about three or four films. And then when he did The Spy He Loved Me, that was his definitive Bond. They her bottom, it's Batgirl!
currently looking for my friends. Ah, I spot a wild husband. Hello, husband.